we're back. And uh, today we are going to talk about the synergistic relationship between mindfulness, journaling, and reflective listening, meaning listening to your own thoughts. My hair is kind of going a little crazy. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so as a recap, mindfulness is staying present and fully aware of what's going on in the moment. Um, and it creates the, a foundation to observe your thoughts and your feelings throughout the day without judgment. So you're in the moment. If you're not in the moment, you can't listen to yourself. <laughs> so you got to be in the moment to do that. And it also calms you down a lot. So mindfulness, helping you observe your thoughts and feelings. The journaling is great. Well, let's go back to a ref reflective listening for a second. So mindfulness helps in reflective listening, right? Like, because if you're not mindful, like I just said, you can't listen to yourself. And the next step there is 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 being able to pay close attention to your inner, inner dialogue and your emotions. It helps you understand sort of your psyche landscape um, and sort of, yeah. It helps you understand yourself better, which is the whole point of this month. <laughs> so also, um, once you kind of get those things down, you can go for journaling. And journaling is, you know, we've talked about it many times. You sit down and you just write shit out. Um, structured way, you can use prompts. So it's a way to, for you to reflect back on the thoughts and the emotions you're having. Um, and it helps you process your experiences and gain insights. So... You could combine all three. I mean, that's what I try and do. Um, and it's great because you can use these not just to like listen to your thoughts and validate your inner experience, but also to catch patterns. We've talked a little bit about this at the beginning of the month, to catch patterns, see where, where things go a little awry for you um, so that you can work on them and improve, improve yourself as we all want to do. Sorry, I'm having a lot of anxiety right now. I don't really know what that's about. I do know what it's about, but it's, I'm not, I don't like it. <laughs> um, so just looking at my notes, consistency. So uh, tips for doing this. You've got to stay consistent with it. it. Doesn't You don't all of a sudden just suddenly be like, oh, I did it once and now I know everything about myself. It's like a lifelong journey. You have to be willing to do that. Um, you could use prompts if you can't think of what to write or what to say or what to do or, you know, um, if some things aren't sparking with you, you could uh, use prompts or guides. And then also while you're doing this, always, always, always remember to be, pa to be patient with yourself, to be compassionate with yourself and non-judgmental. Those are key things because if you're reflecting on your stuff and all you're doing is judging it, that's not a point. <laughs> That's not good. You can't judge something and listen to it objectively at the same time. And you can't be patient and compassionate with yourself either if you're judging yourself. So that's the, those three practices all wound up. And I am just going to remind you guys that even if you forgot to do the videos for a couple of days and you have to do them all together at once... <laughs> You can't always choose to have a grateful day.